I have an Amana p unit with a noisy DC condenser motor. Now, I don't have that motor in stock, but this property really needs this unit, so I'll be using a regular motor from another unit that's not working, so I can get this one up and running. Let's go ahead and detach the shrouds from both coils. Now in this video, I'm only gonna focus on the connections. So let's get this uh, DC motor disconnected. Once that motor is disconnected, let's go ahead and get it out of the way. Let's put the other one in place. Pull the wires into the electrical compartment. Now we need to make sure that this motor is gonna be using the right capacitor. So this one is gonna be using a five microfarad capacitor. So let's go ahead and check our dual capacitor. So as you can see, this is the right capacitor. So we can continue with our connections. Let's connect the brown wire and the white one. The brown wire is gonna be connected where it says fan on the capacitor. And the white wire, we can either connect it at the terminal box where the common wires are connected or at the common side of the capacitor. Next, I'll be connecting the high speed and the low speed wires from the condenser motor to the control board. Now, there's two wires already connected here and these two wires are coming from the variable speed board. So if you follow the wires, we're gonna see that it comes from the variable speed board. But we don't need that board anymore, so we're just going to go ahead and eliminate these wires. I don't want any loose wires, so I'm going to just dispose of them completely. The black wire is going to be connected to the high speed terminal, and the red one is going to be connected to the low speed terminal. Once everything is connected, let's go ahead and close that electric compartment. And don't forget about that ground wire. Let's go ahead and test the unit. 